January the 2nd, we read Proverbs 2. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, comes knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless, for he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men, from men whose words are perverse, who have left the straight paths to walk in dark ways, who delight in wrongdoing and rejoice in the perverse of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. Wisdom will save you also from the adulterous woman, from the wayward woman with her seductive words, who has left the partner of her youth and ignored the covenant she made before God. Surely her house leads down to death and her paths to the spirit of the dead. None who go to her return or attain the paths of life. Thus you will walk in the ways of the good and keep to the paths of the righteous, for the upright will live in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the unfaithful will be torn from it. I love Proverbs 2. And one of the things that I love is this word if that shows up uh, three times in the first four verses. You know, as we seek after wisdom, there's an if. Like it's provided for us. If we read it and if we take it and receive it, and apply it to our lives. You see, when we do this, when we take the Word of God and do those things, then we seek wisdom, and then we receive wisdom. It also says in verse 5, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. I want you to think about that with me. Actually, in the Word of God, we find the knowledge of God. And when we discover and find the knowledge of God, we find wisdom. And then from there, it goes on to share with us that when we find the knowledge of God and we find wisdom, it protects us and keeps us from going down roads that lead to death. What a great life that we can have when we allow the Word of God to be applied to it. And so I ask you, where are you in the if? Are you on the side where you've not really grabbed hold of it and and, uh, used it as wisdom and knowledge of God? And then from there, think about where you can be in life. Where can you go if you allow the Word of God and the knowledge of God to saturate your life? It's a wonderful thought. Think on it today. God bless you.